stained glass windows. Compliments of Mother Nature. Well, the pond's all frozen. Probably could go ice skating on that one. Lily's enjoying the sunshine. It's supposed to warm up to 39 degrees today. Brutus was out here making snow angels. He loves to play in the snow. Lily, not so much. Brutus, yeah. You can see the snow melting around the tree, finally. There you so go. I'm going to make a turkey pot pie with some leftovers we have. And I thought, I'll just buy the store-bought pie crust. So I rolled them out, and of course they crack like they always do. And, and um, I had a deep dish pie pan. And I put the one crust in there so I could, brown, you know, cook it a little bit. And it proceeded to shrink. So I took it out of there and put it in this regular pie pan. And this is what I got. Pretty pitiful. One of the things I struggle with is pie crust. So I looked up a recipe for simple flaky pie crust. And it said one and a quarter cups of flour, a half cup of chilled shortening, and three tablespoons of ice water. So I use lard because everyone says, oh, use lard, it's gonna, it's the best for baking. So I have my pie crust mixed up. It's rolled up in a ball in plastic for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. I am so excited to see how this turns out. Fingers crossed, because I'm not the best pie crust maker. Okay, I'm gonna try this again with the camera running. My ultimate goal is to use the, use the pie crust I made for the deep dish, because this is not a deep dish. And I have a lot of turkey, carrots, garlic, peas, and celery. So I'm gonna need a deep dish for this. We'll probably give that to the chickens or the ducks or whoever wants to eat it. I don't know, we'll see. This is the dish I want to use. Big difference. And it's technically not a pie dish, but I'm gonna make it work. So I've done it before, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I added a can of cream of chicken soup and a little bit of milk. The last couple times I've made this, it's either been, well, too runny or too dry, but I think I nailed it this time. We're gonna find out here pretty soon. While we're waiting for the dough, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Kathleen Paint from My Alabama Farm Life, to Where to Begin Homestead, BJ and Janice, and they sent me a sticker, thank you. Thank you for being great friends. We look forward to watching your channel grow in 2023. And then this one is from my good friends at Mickelson Family Homestead. They're awesome. Y'all go check them out. I'll put their links in the description. Great channels, great people. I've had the pleasure of 
meeting Kathleen and Janice and BJ. I haven't met Kelly and Curtis yet though, but soon, very soon. Thank you guys. Thank you for thinking us of us and taking the time out to send these cards. After a week in hibernation, they finally came out. It's good to see them outside. They all huddling under the house. And that's okay. You happy to be out, girls? I'm happy to see you out. Okay, it's been a little over a half hour. I have my dough in my plastic wrap. And now I'm going to try to roll this out into one big crust. So let me get you down here. Can you see it? I put some flour here. I'm going to take my ring off. And um, I put some flour in the rolling pin. And so I'm going to spread this out. Sort of clumpy. Let's see how it does. You got to get it really thin. So that's what I'm working for. You know, I can bake cookies and I can make cakes and I can do all those things, but pie crust has been my nemesis. I'll be right back. The dog needs in. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. I'm just going to keep trying to smush it together. I see people do this and they make it look so easy, but it doesn't come easy for me for some reason. Maybe I need a professional pie crust maker to teach me. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. So far, it doesn't look very good. But you know, if you don't try, you'll never get it, right? And that's what life is about. At least giving it a try at least attempting it. Okay, I think I need a little more flour on my... rolling pin. I don't think that'll mess up the crust. Probably need to just lay this on the countertop so I have a bigger area, but I didn't. So this is what we're working with. Well, there's no judgment zone, y'all. I'm most excited to see how the the lard does with it. Because I heard it was fantastic. I keep pulling pieces off. Does that matter? Let's see if I can just 
roll this over. Seems like the flower's helping to keep it from sticking. Except I just said that, and there it is. Now. Yeah. I know y'all are probably screaming at the screen. Jan, what are you doing? <laughs> Hmm, now how do you get it up? Spatula? <laughs> what I want to do is shift it a little so I can move it around. So this is going to be my solution to it. watched videos of people making pie crust, but it doesn't always equate into my head. I think sometimes it's just one of those things you just have to keep trying, trial and error, and eventually you get it right. And then you have that voila day, and you're like, glory, 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 I did it. So... Okay, let's see. All right. Hmm. Well, oh, I can't wait to see the comments on this one because it's going to be pretty wild. Ah. <laughs> uh, but you know, if it tastes good, it doesn't, to me, it's like, who cares what it looks like if it tastes real good? Isn't that the most important thing? I mean, cause it's gonna be on the bottom covered up with all the food. This is my thinking. Okay, more flour. More flour for the rolling pin. Maybe at the meetup that Stephen and I are having at the backwoods from the backwoods misfit, we could um, we could have a pie crust class so I can learn how to actually make a pie crust and roll it out correctly. Well, I think the recipe is going to be fine. It's just the execution and getting it where I want it, right? Okay, let's see. Do you remember your first pie crust you ever did? It's not my first time, but it's my first time ever trying a big pie crust. Because I need it to fit into that this dish without shrinking down. I don't think I'm there yet. Maybe I should have made two. But this was supposed to be enough for two pie crusts. So there's that. Maybe I'll just have to use the other dish and make it work. Okay, well, hmm.
That's as good as it's going to get. One day I'll learn to make all the pretty crimps and decorations and, you know, we'll look back at this and we'll have a good laugh from it. <laughs> Oh. Right now, let's just get it off here and see if it'll at least cover the sides of the bowl without falling down like the other one did. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to have to... A and use a smaller one. Shameless plug, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's Lake Stockton. Stephen and I are hosting the Ozark Meetup Camp Out. If you have a tent, you have a camper, make your reservations now because it's a fishing lake and they have lots of tournaments on it. And if you don't get your spot or your hotel or, you know, wherever you're going to stay, yeah, you're not going to find one. Not if you wait too much longer because they book up starting next week. Everything starts getting booked up. And you can look on my community page for all the information, the reservation number, it's an 800 number. And they can tell you everything you need to know. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna give this one a try. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> You're supposed to. Put your bowl over there, right? And then dump it in. But I don't think that's going to work. It's so thin. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be really bad. <laughs> this is... Watching Simply Jan try to put a pie crust in a pan. Y'all can make a video. Show me how to do it. I've seen people do that, fold it over in half. And then pick it up. I'm going to have to piece this together in the bowl, y'all. Because <laughs> it's sad. Oh, dear. Oh, no, we're going to have to redo that. That did not turn out right. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stay focused. And I'm going to redo this. And I'm going to be back cuz I'm going to redo this. Okay, I re-rolled it. I had to go to the smaller dish though. I had to. And I had some holes. I don't want holes in them. And I, I know I could crimp this and make it look real purdy, you know, like with your fingers or your fork or something. I could do that. Let me see. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. Thank you with Simply Jan doing a pie crust. People think it's your homesteader. You know, I do all this stuff, but no, I never, I never learn. So this is gonna be the jam version of how to do a pie crust. <laughs> don't y'all judge me now, don't laugh at me because it's my first, well, it's not my first time. I've tried it before. And it wasn't this difficult for some reason. It's very difficult today, but I'm doing it. I'm doing the dang thing. And I, I just keep thinking about all my YouTube friends that make these, like, in a blink of an eye. And they, they, 
looking at me struggling here and shaking their head going, girl, <laughs> that's pathetic. So I'm just pinching it. I got some excess up here. It looks pretty sad inside. I got patchwork in there. But like I said, it's about the taste, right? That's gonna be the ultimate thing. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in the oven and I'm gonna poke some holes in it because I don't have any of those ceramic pie crust weights that those fancy cooks have. I just got a fork to poke holes so it doesn't bubble up, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, oh, this is pretty, pretty scary looking. But I did it. I did it. <laughs> Even though it's not gorgeous, I'll show you. It's mine, and it's gonna taste so good. Yeah, we'll just see if we can get a little hunk right there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, hold on, I'll show you what I got. Okay, there she is in all her glory. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna poke some holes in this and get it in the oven to brown up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put my mixture in there. And, well, I'll show it to you. I'll show you what it looks like after I brown it. Hopefully I don't burn it, right? <laughs> there you go, folks. Okay, I have the holes in there. And I'm gonna put this in the oven and wait to, for it to brown a little. I keep thinking I need an intervention from Cindy or uh, Lisa, Cindy from Pathways Homestead, or Lisa from Nine Acres Farm. Maybe they can come and do an intervention with me and teach me how to do the dang thing and do it right. Oh, that would be so nice. And, I, and life with Belinda and Chuck, I know they're cringing. And Lisa and Jesse, I know they're having a heart attack. <laughs> But it's going to taste good. It don't matter what it looks like. Not for us. Well, it sort of does, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I decided I'm going to hashtag teach Jan to roll out a pie crust. And a recipe. So y'all can teach me. So if any of you want to make a video on teaching Simply Jan how to make a pie, pie crust. Oh, can I say it correctly? You go ahead and hashtag teach Jan how to make a pie crust. <laughs> that was a store-bought one. And look how crappy that turned out. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic, y'all. Oh, dear. What are we going to do with me? <laughs> okay, there's pie crust lightly brown and now I'm gonna put I already put all this together I have it all mixed up let's see how much we can oh that's hot how much we can squeeze into this pie shell I'm hoping it all fit I may have just miscalculated in my head, which, you know, that's nothing new. It's normal, and I think it's all going to fit fine. It smells so good. So I just seasoned it with um, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I put some red pepper flakes in it. Uh, Mrs. Dash. Do y'all put garlic in your food and then put garlic powder? <laughs> I do. It's a thing. I don't know why. I just guess I like the added flavor. 
Oh, that's going to fit perfectly. And I'm pretty happy with my little pie crust that I made. But don't forget, hashtag teach Jen how to make pie crust. Don't forget to show me how to roll it out properly. Therein lies the problem. What's that? Oh, celery. And I think I'll just cut a cross in here <laughs> in the top crust. Because, <laughs> you know, I need all the help I can get. All right, so. Now this one, I'm pretty sure you can just go like this, crimp it together. It's really hot. Oh, look here, it's falling apart. Dag on it. Well, like I said, it's all about the taste. The look of it is secondary. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad though. Look, a pretty little crimp there. Yeah. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's pretty. And it's gonna taste so good. All right, let's, let's get that cross in there. Let me see. I got this paring knife. Oh Lord, help me. <laughs> Here we'll put a couple of rays coming out. Yeah. We'll just put them all around because Jesus is the light of the world. That'll help it when it boils, right? From exploding. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to get one of these ancient cookie trays I have. I need, a, I need cookie trays, but the boss said I don't need them. I don't. I think I believe him. <laughs> Mine are really old. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to get this in the oven. It says to cook it at 425, but I like to cook mine at 350 because, you know, me and rolls. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video of me attempting to do a pie crust the proper way. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, though. It's going to be so good. Okay, the turkey pot pie is finished. And it smells so good. There you go. Thanks for watching. Y'all be blessed and love well. Bye now.